today we will see the question write down the difference between evaporation and boiling with expression so this is the difference between evaporation and boiling the first point in evaporation it is a surface phenomena that means the at the liquid surface there is a transition of liquid phase into the vapor phase only at the surface here in the boiling point and uh, boiling it is a bulk phenomena that means it occur at throughout the liquid medium that means it will not occur at only the surface but all over the liquid the boiling will happen second point evaporation has a cooling effect it is using external heat for the transformation of liquid into the vapor phase that's why it can cool the surrounding of it in liquid in boiling there is no temperature change in liquid that means the liquid will boil only at its boiling point at that temperature there will be no raise in the temperature after that boiling point all the heat will be utilized for the transition of liquid molecule into the vapor molecule uh, third difference is that it can occur only a, at any temperature it, it can occur only not only it can occur at any temperature but in boiling it can occur only at boiling points that means below boiling point there will be no boiling only at the boiling point there will be boiling so it is occurred only at one specific temperature evaporation is a natural phenomena it occurs in the nature it occurs with the help of natural forces boiling is not a natural phenomena we have to provide a heat so that temperature should be raised to the boiling point external heat is required evaporation is a slow process because it is natural process heat is very less so it is a slow process whereas boiling is a fast process because we are supplying heat to the liquid medium that's why it is fastly converting into the vapor phase in evaporation bubbles are not formed in this process because temperature is quite below the boiling point in boiling bubbles are formed in this process the first bubble will be formed at the bottom of the surface then throughout the liquid medium there will be the formation of the bubbles evaporation is a spontaneous process because it is a natural process it happens on its own no one is helping in this process to occur it is natural and occurs on its own that's why it is a spontaneous process boiling is a non spontaneous process because we have to supply heat to raise the temperature to the boiling point example of evaporation is a drying of cloths an example of boiling is a making of tea where we are putting the tea to this boiling point <coughs> please don't quit and keep your study continuously don't stop until you become number 1 in your class school coaching or any examination uh, thank you for watching guys